Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin, this is Full Purpose and Heart. If you are new here, welcome. I'm a homeschooling mama of two. I've got three kiddos, one on the end there, but I've got two homeschool kids that we are doing this school year. And this is the first video of my new um, Our Homeschool Life series that I do. I've been doing these for the last two years and it's been a really great encouragement to me because I like to look back and see where we started and how far we've come. Uh, and I I hope that it's an encouragement to you as you begin your homeschool journey just to let you know that sometimes things don't work out and kind of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and all that kind of fun stuff so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can catch up with these updates I do them I don't know one every one to two weeks kind of depending on how much I have to report um, and I like to share things again like that we're doing and how I'm kind of supplementing the curriculum we've got and all that kind of fun and good stuff. So anyway, this is the first video, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm super duper excited to share with you guys our first week of school. I know that we start school ridiculously early. Most people are still enjoying their summer breaks at this time, but as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, when I plan our school year, um, I do like to plan a lot of breaks during the school year, and so we start early so that we can have those breaks during the school year and still get eight weeks off for our summer. So anyway, we've just finished one week of school, so I wanna give you an update of some of the things I did, both with my second grader and with my um, junior kindergartner or pre-kindergartner. Okay. So second grade, just to start, it went without a hitch. It was super awesome. I was really pleased with how I had organized our school day. Check that video out. I just posted it a few days ago so you can see how the flow of our day went, but I'm super pleased. Um, you can kind of see my little board right here. I'm going to do a video when I do my room tour and I'll share with you how I've got our board here. Um, so I've switched up our morning circle time just a little bit from what we were doing when we had mostly preschool students in my home. So anyway, it's it's just been a really, really great year. As far as subjects go, it's hard to kind of get a feel for how things are gonna flow, but so far our English 2 curriculum is the, the popular one. My son loves it, he's very thrilled, he's always anxious and excited to get started with that, and I'm gonna tell you it's because it's on the computer. He loves being on the computer, he loves screens, he's just your average typical kid, I guess, and so um, the fact that he gets one of his subjects on the computer, he always wants to start his day there and, and get that out of the way. So that's been a really great thing. Personally, I think it's really awesome. The pace of it has been good. Um, again, we've only done it for five days, so my perception of it is very, very minimal, but so far because my son is excited, I'm excited and I feel like this is gonna be a good curriculum and a good feel for us. Um, as far as math goes, we're on Horizons Book Two. We skipped the first 10 lessons and I jumped directly to test one. So all of those review pages I skipped, we went directly to test one and my son passed with flying colors. He knew all of the topics that were there. So I didn't feel bad not doing those first 10 lessons. Um, and then we started on lesson 10 and now we're moving forward from there. So um, that's been positive. I We still have the same struggles with addition and subtraction. If he focuses, he does well, but when he's distracted, he kind of gets distracted. So anyway, um, oh, and another fun thing that I've incorporated this year that we didn't do last year was our character studies. And I found a really great, I stumbled upon it, um, uh, a curriculum, I guess you could call it, just a, a character-based study system. It's all online and it was free. Um, so I really enjoy doing that. One of the components is they teach you a poem. They have a video, like a story. The, the person talk, tells you a story. Um, it's not animated. There's just a man on the screen talking to you. Um, and then they have a song that they teach you, which sounds really similar to the poem um, in rhetoric. It's not like doesn't have a melody, at least the one that we've done. Uh, maybe in the in the other character traits they do, but in this particular one that we've done, they did not. So check my description box below and I'll put a link to that um, curriculum line because I've forgotten what it's called at this time. So, but it's been really good. We did attentive, attentiveness and we'll finish doing attentiveness for the next several weeks. 
okay? Um, what else can I tell you? We did not do geography or history or science this week. We won't actually pick those up for a couple of weeks. Um, just because I do a very gentle start to our school year. And I've been considering maybe I'll chat, chat with you guys a little bit in a future video about um, how I've changed how we started our school year. Because we used to just start fast and furious and now we do a much more gentle start. And so I want to maybe chat with you guys a little bit and compare how I feel the two have kind of changed our the dynamic of our homeschool. Um, I have my little checklist here that we're doing now you th this you may recognize I used this last year my son did not use it last year so I started printing them off for this new school year and after chatting with my second grader he just kind of was like mom I don't care about that I'm not gonna check them off I just do whatever's in my binder <laughs> kind of a thing um, so I'm not gonna be printing these off anymore Save paper, save ink, I guess you could say. Um, but I did change it briefly. So if you have a student that really loves these, um, I did change it. So I'll just kind of share with you down here that I changed this to be his daily jobs. Now, last year it was habits and I had things like, um, oh gosh, I don't even remember what I had written on there. But I switched it so that I could track his jobs a little bit better. Um, I have a day when I do all of his laundry. I need him to bring his laundry down on that day. And then every day he has three chores that I want him to, um, to do for our home. The third one being a rotational house chore. So one week he does one thing, the next week he does something else. He's really the only member of our family who gets real jobs and chores because my other two kids are quite young. Um, I'm beginning to train my three-year-old, but she's still only three, so um, we're not really putting a bunch of chores on her. But anyway, that aside, that's not really, well, I guess it is kind of along with homeschooling because I do try to teach my kids, you know, the facts of life and, and home skills and that kind of stuff. What do they call those street smarts, I guess? Um, anyway, so that's kind of how that is going. Now, as a side note, I wanna talk a little bit about um, what I've been doing with my junior kindergartner, with my three-year-old. She'll be turning four here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so during my son's computer English time, I've been picking up my, um, what is it called? The Letters of the Week curriculum. It's from Confessions of a Homeschooler. I purchased this many years ago when my, when my oldest was young. Um, I did a video review on it, and there are a few things that I would probably change in that video. Um, right now, like the way that I print it would be different and that sort of thing. But for the most part, that's a pretty good resource. You can see um, what it looks like and how I feel about it. It has been a really great beginning. My daughter loves doing the games. It's a very hands-on letter curriculum. Um, I've also started her with some sight words. So I have some small scholastic readers. They're just really beginning readers and she feels so proud when she reads those books. And although most of them are memorization, um, she recognizes the words, her eyes are looking at the words. I have her point to the words as she reads. So it's really been a great resource. Um, and that's been a really fun time where she and I can have some one-on-one -on -one teaching just like I did with my older student when he he was the only kid in the house so I really cherish that time okay so I'm back um, I'm sorry for that little interruption that has made me lose my train of thought but what I was trying to cover was that this special one-on-one -on -one time that I'm having with my daughter has been really wonderful and I just love it so much so um, anyway, one other quick thing I want to tack here at the end of the video. Uh, for my junior kindergartner, the theme for her the first week of school was you are special. And during our circle time each day, we kind of touched on that and talked about how special we are. I had a couple of books um, that then correlated with an activity that I did both with her and my second grader. So the first one that we did, we read this book. It's called Only One You. And just throughout the book, they have just... Um, I don't know, fun little like, it's hard for me to talk to you and show you the pages, but they have just fun little like quotes, I guess you could say, or like 
words that just are encouraging and make you feel all warm and fuzzy. And then all of the illustrations are these like fish that are really creatively drawn. And so we read this book and we talked about it and then we went out and I picked a bunch of rocks that kind of had the same shape and we painted rocks to look like these fish to show that everybody's rock is different and everyone's rock is special and that sort of thing. And it was a really fun um, craft that we got to do together. It'll be a miracle if I get through this. That's what happens when I try to record it when all my babies are awake. Okay, um, the second thing that we did for the first week of school is we read the book Molly Lou Mellon. Stand Tall Molly Lou Mellon is what it's called, and I couldn't find it in my house to show you what it looked like, but it's just this cute little story of a little girl um, who goes, she moves to a new town, and she takes all of this advice that her grandmother had given her. Um, the bully shows up and tries to kind of ruffle her feathers, but she stands tall just as her grandmother grandmother had taught her and it's just a really great warm feeling book um, so then after that we did some posters and they were just all about me posters and I had gotten them in a pack back when I was teaching my preschool classes and so we grabbed some of those and some paint and some markers and crayons and such and we painted those to kind of highlight what was special about us and how we can be proud of what we like even though it may be different from what other people like or look like or anything like that so that was a really great activity and then the last thing that we did that week was we were reading frog and toad and about friendship and how we can befriend other people even if they're different from us and we did at the end of it we made this little craft you can't see but there are little dots um, they're like spots on here and we you know glue the little activity and then on the inside this is my second graders and then I dictated or my daughter dictated to me and I wrote hers for her um, but we just wrote what we liked about the character and I have a little visitor here now that <laughs> we got to wrap this video up um, we just wrote about what we liked about the character and what we liked about the book or how we wanted to be more like frog or toad um, there were several frog and toad books that we read through the duration of the week I read it to them every day and there's I think we had four books that we read total um, and each book has like two to four stories in it so anyway that was a really fun we read a really great beginning to the school year and um, so as the school year progresses, I think not next week, but the week after, then we're going to integrate some more subjects and kind of fill our school day a little bit more. As of now, we go from nine until about 11.30, and then at 11.30 I read to the kids, so it's usually like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on kind of how the day goes. So we're done by noon for sure. So it's been about three hours of school time, and that includes our recess, which is about 30, to 40 minutes or something kind of just depending on um, the afternoon and how quickly we want to finish up our day so anyway thanks so much for watching this video it's time that we wrap this up <laughs> the kids are getting restless but I appreciate you watching again be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along in our homeschool journey as our curriculum unfolds and as our activities come about I'll be sharing all of that here on my channel thanks so much for watching guys and we'll catch you in another video